Hello, how's it going? I am so, so tired today, which I don't think is a shock. My laptop just froze really bad. That was scary. <laughs> I think I think we're still going though. Okay, okay. <laughs> it scaled me. Hi stars. Uh, I just saw you, so it seems kind of silly to ask how you're doing, but how are you doing? <laughs> for for anybody who doesn't know and hangs out here, Stars also streams. And I basically just hung out with Stars this morning. Well, my morning. It's not morning for everybody. And uh, then ate some lunch and then came right here. <laughs> I feel like this still isn't in focus. I had to, so I broke all of my streaming stuff down since it's in the living room, right? Because I had somebody come over on Saturday. Um, and I reset it up and I tried to like get everything focused again. I changed the camera angle a little bit, but I still, I always feel like it's out of focus. I, th I don't think that this camera is capable of focus, if I'm being honest. Thank you. So this is actually the ink. Um, and it's on a separate acrylic board because I get to break my streaming set down again on Friday because we're going to have people over on Saturday. Um, and I, I really want to get this done this week because my sticker company is having a big sale on the 27th. So if I can get some, cause I was going to get a sticker of this made already. So if I can get that ready by the time the sale happens, I will get a very good deal on things. Um, they are also doing sales on gift cards though. So it's not as big as the sale that they're doing just on stickers, but if I end up, yeah, yeah, and it, and it is, and there's no way to fix that um, <laughs> with the setup that I currently have. Um, so it is, it is at an angle because of how short the table I have is. Um, and since there isn't anything behind the table for me to attach the uh, camera arm to, it definitely is tilted a bit. And there's really not much I can do about that, <laughs> which is great. I, I love this camera so much. Um, so, yeah. Like, unless you guys want to see the majority of my floor instead of the painting, there isn't much that I can do about it. Yeah, yeah. It's annoying hopefully once i get like a real setup i can attach stuff to the wall that my desk will be up against and that will make it a bit better um but for now we're still in kind of like the i don't know i don't know what to call it the in-between setup not ideal setup um uh, the blue you can see on here, also I put some masking fluid on this this morning so that I could let it dry so that we could actually like get right to work on it as I sit here and ramble about stuff instead of actually working. Um, so we have, this is going to be mostly purple. This is another color in focus piece. Um, I'm about to sneeze. Excuse me a moment. All right. 
Thank you. Hi, Grim. Sippy accomplished. Stretchy in motion. I did modeling yesterday and I'm definitely sore. I did some stuff that was like pushing myself a little bit with the shorter things, which I'm really proud of myself about because I, I don't know, it makes me nervous to do some things and it's not even like a somebody is witness me, witnessing me thing. It's uh, I'm not sure how well I can hold this pose thing. Oh, no worries. I hope you feel better. Get some rest for sure. But um, I did some stuff that involved more like arm lifting than I would normally do. So I'm definitely sore. And my wrist is big mad at me. So we're, we're rocking the wrist brace today. Um, and my painkiller is going to wear out partway through stream. And we'll see how bad it is then. It was really bad last night and this morning. But hopefully it'll mellow out a little bit. Because I took some anti-inflammatories. Um, which, yeah. I don't know. That was just a whole lot of me rambling. I don't, did any of that make sense? Was that at all connected? I don't know. I'm just talking. Um, and I may be modeling again next Monday. I'm not 100% sure. I'm waiting on the scheduler to get back to me. Yeah, it is. It is. Rambling is my brand. It's true. There's a reason that back in 2011 when I made my Tumblr blog, I uh, named it Ramblings from the Bean. Well, as long as you guys can understand, that's the important part. Because that's who I'm talking to. So there you go. <laughs> um, but let me actually put some water on this paper. How about that? This is going to end up moving around a fair amount because I'm sitting in kind of a different spot than I was. So, and I'm going to move this palette because I need to rest my hand while I do this. Yeah, I definitely, my group of friends are all ramblers, I think. We are not a rambling man. What, a rambling team? I don't know. I don't even know the rest of that song. I just know that one line. So I did I did mention before, um, the blue on here is masking fluid, which we've used on stream before. It's basically just liquid latex to preserve the white of the paper. Cause I'm gonna have like, I've been calling them spiritual stink lines coming off of the skull. Um, theoretically, this is a rat skull. I'm pretty sure it is, but whenever you're looking up animal skulls sometimes people just label things completely incorrectly and i'm not smart enough with animal skulls to really know like with 100 percent certainty but i'm pretty sure it's a rat if anybody can figure out the uh, thought process behind me putting a rat skull in purple um i'll be impressed Oh, fun, Grim. You won't find a third player in me, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'm not sure if I know anybody who'd be super into that. I'm sure there's somebody, though. So my plan for this one is to do a kind of blue, black, Blue black that's not what I mean a blue purple background for this I'm gonna use my new favorite Prussian blue I which I don't have on my regular palette so I've been using it on my travel palette yeah I love improv that's my favorite <laughs> and you know what makes improv even more fun having to do math about it Oh, I also have the, um, hang on a second. Uh, I already lost track of what I was saying. Oh, I have the iris over here that, that I finished that I can show you guys too. Um, sorry, I'm dealing with like a bunch of people not doing their goddamn jobs and I'm really cranky about it today. 
<laughs> I say today as if I wouldn't be cranky about that any other time. It's just all coming to a head this week, apparently. But, boy. I would love it if people would just do what they say they're going to do. That would be really helpful to me. Probably should use a smaller brush for right in here, but also whatever. The mushrooms are just going to be purple anyway, so it won't be all that different. Sorry, I'm sniffly. It's, uh, well, one, I sneezed earlier. That doesn't help with the sniffles. Um, but also it's been really cold here, which means it's dry, which means noses go into, like, hyperdrive around keeping your mucous membranes moist. I think I'm going to sneeze again. That's going to be really fun. Love this for me. False alarm. Maybe. It's probably going to come back at a really inconvenient time when I can't actually mute properly. Just as a guess. Going off of what I've been dealing with so far. <laughs> yeah, I guess if I really cared, I could have masking fluided the mushrooms too, but I don't think I do. Everything's going to be so dark that I don't think it's really going to be an issue. <laughs> Um, the plan for the rat skull is to make it kind of yellowish to um, complement the words, the purples, um, which I'm realizing that really for all of the pieces that I did for color and focus, I used yellow in all of them, which like purple and yellow are complementary colors, so like it makes sense. But I also am just very into complementary colors. I feel like purple should have yellow next to it. They're friends. They just look so good together. And I do think that I want to do kind of like a weird blue kind of soil in this, which doesn't like make sense, but. It doesn't need to make sense. It's my art and I make the rules. I'm also, I think gonna make some little um, water blooms over the masking fluid dots before I go much farther. Just cause I want them to look like little, little glowing spots. Yes, exactly stars, exactly stars. That's my thinking. Because I saw that while I was, because I was working on this while I was watching you one of those days. And I was like, oh, you know what? You know what? What if? <laughs> so I'm just doing um, a little bit of water over the masking fluid dots. And it's going to make these really cool little gradients in the, the paint. Because the water will push the pigment out of the way in like a very organic shape, I guess is, is what I want to say. And so it'll give them kind of a more glowy aspect if I do that every layer. And it will kind of build up in a weird way, which I like. I just like the way watercolor looks when you do this. I like the kind of like frosty shapes that it makes. Sorry, again, very sniffly today. Oh, I did one over here too. And I will need to like, I don't think that one's gonna actually do anything. I think it's too dry. Um, I will need to like even those colors out, but not a big deal at this precise moment. Um, oh, I missed a spot. 
to be blue too. Maybe, I'm trying to decide what color I wanna do the underpainting on the soil. And I think maybe I wanna actually do Viridian Hue to give like a little greeny underneath for the first layer. This is what I want. Because of my wrist being weird, I have to set it down in specific places as the pivot point that I wouldn't normally do, which means normally where I keep my palette is like in the way. So we're gonna have super art vibes and just hold it funkily on the side for most of this. But I do want this to be like very cool colors except for the cork and the skull. That's the plan here. And I think I'll, there's like a, a space in between the outside of the jar and the inside that is like the shorthand way of showing that, that it's like the glass thickness around the edges. Um, and I think what I want to do is after most of this is done, I'll just kind of uh, blur out the edges a little bit so that it lightens up as you move out and maybe um, reflect some of the colors in the items in that area. Oh, I also have a pull up on Tumblr right now about what to do for a sticker design, if anybody has an opinion. Um, for the piece that I did for uh, the first day of streaming, Stellar, the seal with the galaxy behind it, it last time I looked it was pretty much tied between two of the options, um, which means I'd still have to make a decision. <laughs> so if anybody hasn't voted in that, I would appreciate it. Um, let me look again. Just just because I can. Uh, yeah, pretty much tied. It's close. Um, let me, well, I was gonna show you this too. Sorry, I'm like popping all over the place. Um, this is the iris, I finished it. Um, it took forever. I do think I'm gonna make cards out of this one. Um, hopefully I can hit up some of the Black Friday sales around printers and do that. I think I'm going to have it be a blank card. I'm also going to do, um, two of the, I know for sure I'm going to do two of the roses that I did before that are thank you cards. Um, just because I think that will be, I don't know, a good standby, I guess, a, a classic card, if you will. And I think this one will be good for a lot of different stuff. Uh, which folder did I put? They're in here. Yes, where is the one that I want though? There you are. These are in a weird order. Um. So this guy I'm thinking of making stickers out of, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do the stickers. So one of the options that's close to winning is a full rectangle with the whole galaxy background. Hey Kettle! And the other option I was thinking is like um, a contour that shows a little bit of the galaxy background, but not the whole thing. Um, and they're really close, so I'm not, I'm not sure. Not sure what the right answer is. There probably isn't a right answer, is the actual answer. <laughs> I do have sleepy baby disease. I did a modeling session yesterday, so I'm like tired and sore. And I will go back in there. I will eat a little treat. Thank you. I did remember to pull those back out. All 
right, let's see, I picked an orange one. Now that water over there is just sitting, not doing nothing, so it's gonna get pulled up. Okay. Still wet, still wet. I think I can add some more blue, even though it is still wet. Back here. I think um, I'll do some pinks and purples in the uh, crystals. Maybe some green in there too, just for kicks. The thing about crystals is you can do like a lot of weird colors and it'll still like make some amount of sense. So I think I'm going to do like this dark Prussian blue and then I'm going to go back over it once it's dry with a purple. And I'll reactivate a little bit the blue underneath but it will like mix on the page in a cool way. I think. This part is still pretty wet because I put more water on there, which is just fine. I do think I'm going to do a base of orange on the cork and build up from that because that will be a complementary color with the blue so it'll pop really nice. I just love complementary colors. is not going to be my my smoothest line work here because of my wrist today but that's okay it doesn't really need to be Part of the reason I was so sleepy was because I was in my room with the space heater. <laughs> it's been cold here. Um, well, it actually warmed up today. So we were in negatives yesterday and we're in the 20s today, Fahrenheit, um, which is still below freezing, but significantly less below freezing than it was. But my room, I have my own little space heater in there. And out here in the living room is, is chilly because we have a couple big windows that are ancient. <laughs> like they were installed with the house back in 74 or whatever it is. So they don't retain heat great. So it's a little chilly out here. Which I think helps me not be so sleepy. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot warmer. <laughs> yeah, because I remember looking it up so I could tell you yesterday. Uh, here yesterday, it was negative 18.8 Celsius when I woke up. And it stayed that cold pretty much all day. Um, which is cold. It's cold. <laughs> We've already had kind of a weird winter, which I guess is more like a normal winter now, but not what it used to be. Oh yeah, we have icicles hanging off of our roof outside every single window. <laughs> um, tis the way of things. We had a brief warm up um, enough that the icicles shrank a bit, but they, aren't, they weren't totally gone. 
then we got super cold again, so. Uh-oh. Twitch was throwing a hissy fit for me earlier, so it might be that too. There might be something going on with the servers or something. So like a lot of water so I'm probably gonna have to wait a fair amount yeah it's been acting up a bit they have been messing with like adding some new features and stuff and I wonder if that's like breaking the spaghetti code in the background because they've been working on hype chats which I don't think is gonna happen uh, where you can like pin a message to the top of chat Because there was something else that they were trying to make happen and it didn't work the way that they intended to, or something. Way too much water right here. Let's pull some of that up. You. Here we go. I want you guys to be a little bit lighter, so let's pull up some of that pigment. I don't know. They keep trying to add things and yeah. So I had a problem with that last time and I finally ended up being able to change um, my title and category through Streamlabs. I couldn't even do it through the site and then it wouldn't let me run ads and it threw a hissy fit again this morning when or this morning when I was starting up because um, it wouldn't let me run ads right away because I like to run ads at the beginning so that we don't have pre-roll and like it's out of the way for a little bit. But it was like, oh, whoopsie doopsie, we can't do that. And I was like, okay, well, do it, please. I'm not going to deal with this not working two days in a row. Well, stream days in a row, not really days in a row. But you'd think that would be enough time for them to like fix whatever was going on. But apparently not. Because I spent like a half hour last time trying to change my title and category and it just would not let me do it. Oh, other sticker designs. That was another thing I was going to mention. Um, since my sticker company is having a sale, I was thinking about other things that I could do stickers of. Um, and I was thinking I would do the mouse from Stream Inc. that we did that was digital. Same with the um, Mothman, the booty Mothman, the sexy Mothman that I did. I thought that would be a fun sticker design. Uh, and these are all digital, so I can't just like show you. I was also going to do the uh, Tummy Trouble Survivor badge, which I do actually have on stream now that I think about it. I will show you in just a second, if I remember. So, 50-50 chance, maybe. Um, so I was doing these body badges that are like little, little patch symbols. Why did I paint you green? You're supposed to be blue. That's fine. Um... I, I unhide. So I have this one um, that I did. I really shouldn't work on that while that's on the screen. It's fine though. Um, so I was going to get stickers done of that one. I also have another one that's uh, No Knee Juice Club that I'm not as fond of. Um, oh, that's another thing I did. I added follower emotes. Um, 
Uh, that one that Stars just used is a, a standard one that they give all streamers access to. And then I moved Hay from a sub emote to a follower emote. And I moved Dihydrate from a bit emote to a follower emote. Um, if anybody has other opinions on what they would like to be uh, unleashed to tier one subs and move to follower emotes, let me know. Um, I do have other ideas, like I need time to draw more emotes is the short answer. Um, but I'll, I'll figure that out at some point. <laughs> The good thing about digital art is I can do it forever, so. I think I got way too much pigment on that this time. Here we go. I felt the paintbrush like actually stick in the, the paint blob, I guess, the tin, the something. There's a word for that and I can't remember what it is. The well, the well, the paint well, that's what it's called. Okay, I think that's, that's a good level of dark for that. Hydrate, you got it. Oh my gosh, my paint water is so blue now. Look, look, it's blue. Sippy accomplished. I should clear my rewards queue. That's a thing to do. Because I did all of those. I think I'm trying to decide what I really want to do for the dirt. And um, I don't know. Perhaps I have not conceptualized it as hard as I thought I had. Yeah, I won't, I won't. So what if, I do have issues with this. I don't have problems with drinking paint water because I have a specific cup that I use for my paint water. The problem I has, have is if I am drinking something with an open lid, I will put my paintbrush in it. So it's like the opposite issue. Um, but this is my specific paint water glass that I've been using just for paint water for like three years. So this is not a drinking glass. Um, so when I'm painting, I don't drink something with an open lid. I did that once on stream where I had a mug of tea and I definitely dipped my paintbrush in the mug at one point. Um, I actually made it a, uh, I made it, what, what do they call that? I made it a predict on stream, a stream prediction. Where I was like, is Katie going to dip the paintbrush in her tea? And I did, <laughs> but my, my water vessel it has a lid and a straw, um, so I cannot I cannot mix the two <laughs> because I know myself, and I will set myself up for success when I can. <laughs> Yeah, I really like these. I have two of them. They're like insulated steel on the inside um, and they have like a twist on cap. So they keep the water pretty cold, which is also good. Their straws are not great. I will say like the straws and the lids are plastic, um, but they're kind of like that softer plastic that has kind of like the squishy feel to it. It's not really squishy, like rubbery feel. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, I so I bought one of those, this one, and then I was like, oh, I like this enough, I'll buy another one, and I did. So there you go. Ugh, I can feel my paint meds wearing off. <laughs> but so far, I haven't full on drank paint water. I did see somebody. Um, who use like a solo cup. They had uh, binder clips all around the rim of their cup. So that, yeah, kind of like silicone, kind of like silicone. 
Um, they had binder clips all around the rim of their cups so that they couldn't just like pick it up and sip it <laughs> too because you'd run your face right into a binder clip. But yeah. Um, brain function. I don't know her. Uh, I think I need to do like a kind of bluey purple layer there to get it where I want it. Or maybe maroon. Maybe maroon will work. And we'll see. These are technically complementary colors. So it'll make kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be funky. Which is what we're looking for. And at some point I will need to go replace my paint water if we get to the rat skull. Um, just because the amount of blue in there is going to muddy other colors. <laughs> so far I haven't used anything that actually has a heavy metal in it. Um, <laughs> but there, there are some of these that will, will hurt you. <laughs> This looks all so dark on camera. I feel like this is less in focus than it was before. I, I don't know. It's set off of autofocus. Maybe setting it on autofocus is the way to go. I don't, I don't know. This camera just sucks, man. Uh, let's pop up the exposure a little bit. See how that goes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this part before a stream so that it wasn't as much just sitting and staring at paint drying. I don't know. I don't know. But planning ahead, don't know her. I say as if I'm not like notorious for planning things way ahead of what I need to. So I think maybe those blooms are done so I could hair dryer this, but I'm gonna have to dig that out of my stuff. Maybe I can manage that. Let's see how many things I knock over trying to do this. Only four things, that's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mute myself for a second so that I can blow dryer this so that we can move on to the next step. So I can still see you guys, you just won't be able to hear me for a little bit.
Okay. I think that's dry enough to be getting on with now. Um, getting it really dry is important to keep the layer underneath from reactivating as fast. So since I'm layering colors actually on the page, the drying part is actually pretty important. But let's move this, bring this over here. If I can actually pick it up, there we go. Oh, my arms are sore. It's almost like I did a bunch of arm stuff yesterday. Huh, funny how that works. Um, but we're gonna add some some purple to the background here. Which probably isn't going to make like a huge amount of difference on camera, I'm guessing. It probably is just going to continue to look really dark. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what I can do to actually like make these colors show up well. I guess it is getting dark and I did not because the sun's gonna go down for us pretty soon. And I did not set my light back up. Which I'm probably gonna regret in a little bit here. Um, so maybe I'll go turn on some lights after I get this layer down. Or at least to a point where I can leave it and it won't get really streaky. you guys with why I picked a rat head for purple and I and then I didn't actually explain it all if anybody has a guess for that you should shout it out it is very convoluted and silly um, and shows how my brain works so I was trying to decide what I wanted to put in the middle because I knew I wanted mushrooms and I knew I wanted the crystals and I hadn't really decided what to put in the middle yet. I was just kind of like brainstorming ideas. I considered putting like a seashell in the middle, but I thought that that would be, end up looking too samey if I did the same colors as I was doing for the um, mushrooms and the crystals. Um, and then I was just like thinking, oh, well, what else is purple? And, uh, you know what else is purple? Rattata from Pokemon. <laughs> but I wasn't gonna put a Pokemon in my painting, so. <laughs> Cause I, I do Pokemon stuff. Like it's not, I ha don't have anything against Pokemon, but I do not particularly want to run into their legal team more than I have already. Um, I think trying to keep as much of my original art Pokemon free as I can is the, the right answer there for my safety and well-being. But I was like, okay, Rattata's a rat. Let's put a rat skull in here. I'm not gonna do a BRB or anything, but I am gonna get up and turn on some lights in this room and see if that helps our current darkness situation. <laughs> um, I can also bring out the like clips light that I have and get that set up. Which, I don't know why I thought that I didn't need to set it up last night, probably just because I was tired.
but I really should never underestimate how much light I need. Let's see, is that any better? Not really. All right. go here without being a problem. Maybe, maybe right there will be good. Okay, often when I plug this in, it makes the camera short out for a second. So if the camera goes away, don't worry, it'll be back. It's all fine. It just throws a hissy fit sometimes for reasons I'm not particularly clear on. Well, maybe not today. Let's see here. It's like too bright now. Yep, there it goes. Thank you. I don't know why it does that. There, I think you can kind of actually see what's happening now. <laughs> Although we do have the ring light glare, but I don't know that there's really much I can do about that. Um, which is the problem with glossy acrylic board, I guess. Okay. That's working on drying. I can work on the soil some more. down here and then probably put a blue over it but not the Prussian blue maybe we'll see this does mean that my own watercolor is shiny while it's still wet, which is not, not the best. Kind of like that, is that any better? No. There's not a good solution for this, is the short answer. Plus, if I have the light facing me, I will get a migraine. <laughs> I do think I am going to end up working on this one off stream too, because I really want to get it done this week. Um, hopefully, I can um, brain, please get it done tomorrow so that I can do the background work I need to do to make it ready to be a sticker. Because I do need to like mess with the file some in order to get it ready. I would also need to decide what sticker paper I want to put it on. Maybe just plain glossy. Although if it's glossy, the minimum order is 50 stickers, which is a lot for what I do, generally speaking. Well, unless the post office keeps fucking me over like it has been, in which case I'll need so many stickers to give away as freebies. Um, <laughs> welcome to Frustrations This Week with Katie. Me, 
making a mental list of all the things that I need to do because other people haven't done their jobs this week. This is fun. This is fun. I love this. side is dry so I can start messing with the crystals on that side. Um, I'm probably going to end up going over those lines with a white gel pen because I've just found that that really makes the crystal vibe pop a little bit more than black lines do. Last time I did crystals, I actually did it with watercolor pencils. So I drew the gradients on with pencil and then wet them. Um, I think I have that piece uh, in my file folder here, so I can actually drag that out and show if we want to see. But I'll just throw some some blobbies in here. it will end up being lighter than the background like almost no matter what I do. Sorry, I don't know where the shadow from the palette is falling. I need to pay attention to that. I may end up going over these a little bit with a colored pencil just to uh, do some more shading on them. But I do think just some like blobby colors and then the white over it really gives a good effect without doing too much work to them because like if you do too much to them they're gonna end up looking ridiculous I have learned through my own I don't know experiments I guess is the right word uh, let's do some pink and purple down here so I am using a different purple than I used to overlay on the background um, they're very similar purples, but they're a little bit different. I can go darker in this one since it's not up against the super dark background. Um, but that really just ate up all the pink. Let's see here. set beasts again too because they still haven't updated me speaking of the song entirely sure what color I want to do for our spiritual stank lines coming off of the skull. I might go with the same uh, 
greenish color that I'm using down here just to kind of like draw that color into the rest of it because a lot of these colors are going to be very samey which um, is good I think I do probably want to pull some orange into there too uh, since I'm going to be using that on the cork just to kind of balance that out a bit but I think this over here is dry enough that I can start doing the orange up here, which I really need to refill the orange in my palette. We're, we're nearing the end of that. There's also a random hair stuck on my paintbrush that is ruining my life. Can you stop, please? Thank you. Sorry, I'm not like super chatty today. I, as previously described, I'm I'm CP today. <laughs> also, I think partially because I'm just tired. It's taking me like way more general focus and thought to work on this. doesn't leave as much brain space for vague rambles. Oh, there was something I was going to pull out of the file folder to show. I forgot. Yeah, I agree, Kettle. And I mean, it's really bad up here because we lose like a lot of daylight every single day. So we lose about, or gain in the summer, about 10 minutes of light a day um, until solstice, which is like a lot. Like it doesn't, fe it, if you look at it on paper, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is. <laughs> 
And I just got to bed later because I needed to wind down after doing stuff. I got home last night, so I didn't get as much sleep as I should have. I love that you just straight up cannot see any of the color variation. That's really great. I love that. <laughs> I am frustrated today, I guess. I'm just cranky. <laughs> Which, again, not really a shock, I guess, but no, that doesn't help anything. What happens if I bump you up? Does that fix anything? Absolutely not. Oy. Oh, well. Only so much to be done about that. It's almost like this webcam is shitty and not made for streaming art or something. Um, maybe that needs to be my next Patreon goal, actually. Is getting a better art camera. Uh, what week was that? So I did, um, this is the crystals I was talking about before. Um, this is from my year lyrics project, which I've talked about. Um, so I did crystals for this and I did a bookmark, which I think is also in my folder somewhere, uh, as like a test that is for sale in my shop. Um, I did add a, um, God, brain, can you like hold two things at once, please? Um, I added a new category in my shop for gifts 15 and under. Um, since holidays are coming up, that seemed like a good idea. And also just because I have like a very large variety of things. And if you were just looking, a lot of them are um, original art, which is more expensive. Did I put those? Here it is. It's still in a bag because I haven't taken it out to photograph it in a while, but um, a little bookmark of the crystal test that I did, um, which is for sale in my coffee shop and is in the 15 or under category. I think I'll probably add original art under under a hundred too because there's a lot of that but you wouldn't know it just by looking at the shop so which Kofi as much as I love it does not have like a batch editing tool that works for that stuff which makes it really frustrating to change anything like that um but yeah that's that's not something we need to talk about really <laughs> Just me being frustrated with things, <laughs> which is turning into the theme of the day, I suppose. Although, to be fair, that kind of, that train sailed like right when I woke up, so. Because I immediately got an email that they messed up my timesheet, so. Which is not fun for me. All the pleasures that you paid for, all the skip turns that you saved for, all the nights you fell asleep without your gun. A coronation, a beheading, from the funeral to the wedding, do you think they care where the crown goes? This may end up being a short stream, which I don't think is a surprise to anybody considering how quiet I've been and uh, how I very openly have said that I'm very tired today, but I don't know. The days after modeling days, I don't feel great just because my body is a nightmare zone and so having to do anything physical, like I love doing it. But it also 
takes effort, you know? It's like a spoon-heavy activity. Maybe having yeah, one of the one of the super fun things read not fun things about my body is that if I do a lot of like physical activity or anything like super stressful, I end up with flu symptoms the next day, like almost always. And if I take care of it properly, it's only one day. But if I don't, it uh, lasts a lot longer. Um, and if my healthcare system, aka the US healthcare system, wasn't such a freaking nightmare, I might actually try to get some sort of diagnosis for whatever the hell is going on with me. Um, <laughs> but alas, I have bad insurance because I'm through the state and my state is a red state, so they don't like taking care of anybody. But I did want to at least get this started on stream and have a wee chat with folks because I don't I don't like missing streams either. Yeah, for real. It's just like what's wild to me is like looking back. I've been complaining about these same things with my body. Like I always react to stress with a fever, always. Um, and my hips have been an issue for me since I, since I hit puberty at like 13. Everybody's just like, oh, it's groin pains and I'm not growing anymore and it's gotten worse. And if somebody had like actually listened to me, I could have actually gotten, gotten some sort of diagnosis that would have helped me take better care of myself when I actually had health insurance. <laughs> Um, but alas, everybody is just like, oh, hips, growing pains. It's just because you got them birth in hips, which is a real thing that people have said to me. Um, fun fact, no. No. That actually doesn't mean that your hips pop out. Why would you think that? Holy shit. Yeah, I, it might be legitimately. Um, if it wasn't before, I do think that it is now. Um, because I do have issues now with my sacroiliac joints, especially my left one lately, but it used to be my right one. Um, and I also have issues with how my skull is seated on my neck nowadays. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and it definitely does not does not help the situation. But I like I definitely have some sort of sciatica situation going on because I will occasionally tweak my back and my hips so bad that uh, I lose feeling in my left leg, which is not normal. If you can afford to go to a doctor and have that happen to you, please go to a doctor. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm guessing that I have some sort of arthritis or other issue that's been getting worse with my, my pelvis in general, um, which would be related to my hips and uh, my coccyx specifically, is I think the culprit. And I'm pretty sure I broke my coccyx at one point. Um, Cause I fell on the stairs wearing a like 90 pound backpack at one point. <laughs> and cause the stairs in our house are like very thin because they were built before before building codes were what they are today. Um, so I slipped on those while I was wearing my backpack and hit my coccyx like really hard, which is your tailbone for anybody who doesn't know. But I like saying coccyx, so I'm gonna keep saying it. Um, and I couldn't sit properly for a significant amount of time when I was in college, so it might be that and it healed funny, I don't know. But cannot afford to find out which sucks. Uh, I'm trying to 
enough to make it homeless? Probably not. I think I've done something weird with this cork texture that I'm not sure I'm a fan of. I thought it was gonna look good, and I'm not sure I agree anymore. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Eating is hard. <laughs> like, there are so many people who are like, oh, I have to stop myself from eating. I, uh, I'm the opposite of that. Eating is just difficult. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I've never been good with food. Although I've, I have been better about actually, like, eating proper meals now. I am actually eating three meals a day, which I didn't used to do. So I have gotten better on that side, at least. And I'm better about drinking water now than I used to be, and respecting my uh, my own limitations, I've gotten a lot better at. Once I was actually like allowed to reconnect to my body in a way that made sense. Because for a long time, like one of the things with generally growing up with people who don't listen to you, but specifically with body stuff, um, is you're told to ignore things. And so you kind of end up with a disconnection to what's supposed to feel like, you know? And so I was told to ignore a lot of these things, and so I ignore them. I ignore them really well. And so it's, it's hard to retrain yourself to listen to that again so that you can actually respect your own boundaries. And that is a whole task in and of itself. But I think I've been getting better at it. I'm going to lift this painting up a little bit just so that I can see it not in the light. So that I can see what I think about it. I think I'm going to add some brown down there. This is shiny in the light, which is not, it's not helping me figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I've been eating like a lot of peanut butter for lunch lately. Because it does have the things that I need in it. And it doesn't feel as much like a chore to eat, which is important. But I've been eating like uh, peanut butter with apples and crackers lately, which has been good. What was I doing? I was adding brown to that. That's what I was doing. Warm this up just a tiny bit to differentiate it from everything else. I do, we are getting at a point where I need to refill my palette, so maybe I'll do that before I end, because that's like a, a lower brain activity requirement. I kind of want to add some texture to this. Which is going to be a more layering situation. my train of thought already. Yeah, for sure, stars. I, I get that too. I'm lucky because my brother lives with me and is a really good cook, so that helps with, because he always cooks dinner. Um, so that's at least like one properly balanced meal of the day that I don't really have to do anything with. So even if I slip up on other stuff, there's like that stability later in the day that helps a lot. Also, I've noticed that I've chipped my fingernail and it's gonna drive me absolutely insane because it's like super sharp on the edge. <laughs> um, I think let's refill my watercolor palette and then I'm gonna call it a day because I'm tired and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> So let's do this. I did just get a new tube of this color. Um, or maybe I can mess with the camera a little and we can see if I can make it less tilty. Although that might give y'all some motion sickness. I don't know. 
um, top of watercolors. Because I needed more burnt umber. Hi, scientist! My brain is just not working today. It's just not feeling it. Yeah, yeah. The background was the one that, like, I really needed to just get that done so I could feel like I started, you know? Because <laughs> one of the things about having a demon brain is that it just won't let you acknowledge that you've done something. <laughs> so, it, it's good progress. I, I do want to, the skull is going to be, like, the most, I don't, what word do I want to use for that? I was going to say titchy, but I don't think that that's, like... Right. Where is burnt umber? It was literally right there. Okay. I probably need to get a new tube of this sometime soon. How you doing, scientist? It's good to see you. Um. I lost my train of thought again. My brain is just not holding on to a thought for love or money today. The fun thing about this, though, so I got, I ordered this in the mail. And it, it arrived today, but it was definitely frozen when I took it out of the package. <laughs> the joys of Alaska. Would you suck the rest of that back in there, please? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I appreciate it, Stars. I know that we, we kind of have that vibe going where we just support each other, which I love. I've got such great supportive people in my life. And I honestly think that's because I, well, partially, there are also just lovely people in the world who have decided to like me. But I definitely make a, a effort to be that kind of person for other people too. And I think that it, it's kind of like what you put out and the world comes back to you, but kind of what you give to other people, people return to you and will seek you out. If So you can really curate the kind of people that will hang out with you. Cause like, even if Grim is still listening, people who are like, oh, I'm evil and gross and blah, 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 who are actually like super supportive people. <laughs> It's just, I don't know. Who are actually like super supportive and nice and just can't give that to themselves quite yet. Is that like an actual paintbrush hair in there? I never look at my palette from this angle. Or is that just paint? Is it both? You are a hair. How dare you? How dare you? You can't even see it. <laughs> I, I get that I have a lot of hair, but there's a certain point. I do think that um, once I finish up using the ultramarine blue that's on this palette, I'm going to refill that with Prussian blue. I think everything else in here, though, I use enough that it makes sense. I might get rid of the cobalt teal, but I do actually use that a fair amount. So, I don't know. I might need to reconsider it. Yeah. See, we're just we're just buddies. We're buddy pals. <laughs> ultra Smurfs. I can say Ultra Smurfs. <laughs> okay. This is one of my favorite colors actually. I use this one a lot. Aussie red gold instead of an actual proper orange color. I do need to get a different cadmium orange because the one I have is super pale and it's not helpful to me to be that pale. Yeah, exactly, scientist. Oh, I should have expected that one to explode a little bit. That was the reason why I told the story about it being frozen. Oh, brain, please let me actually function. I can actually fill more of this in because I used the last of my my small tube to fill this and it wasn't like super super filled so let's add some more in there while I'm thinking about it oh one of my that's what fell okay some of my paint just leapt for freedom from the uh, the 
palette. Hi, Kathy Bean. How are you? Eventually, I'm going to collect everybody who has a bean name on Twitch. That's my, that's my goal. Because <laughs> we also have... Uh, they're not here today, but Mexi Bean Supreme is, uh, or Big Bean Supreme. That's what it is. I remember things. Uh, my white paint just leapt for freedom from the, the palette. <laughs> Get back in there. What are you doing? You live there now. Come on, buddy. I do like this, uh, travel palette so far. Poster boys. Oh, gotcha. Ultra Smurfs. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, this is, it's probably worse. It's French ultramarine. So I don't know. Is it this one? No, that's Thalo. It's in here somewhere. That's Prussian. I have the tube in here somewhere. And part of there is French ultramarine. This guy who is pretty worn out because he was one of the first watercolors I got. Um, I got like a mixing set. So I finally used up this guy. He's gonna go away. And now we've upgraded to a bigger tube because they don't really sell the little ones outside of like mixies. Like, uh... do I know words? Probably not. Box sets. Good Lord. Um, what else am I doing? I'm just like, there is no brain inside my head today. It's nothing. It's nothing. I was looking for this so that I remembered which order I put the reds in. Because I need to refill this one. Crimson. Okay. Which is this guy. Yeah. Uh, I was... This is not going to be in focus like at all. <laughs> um, I'm working on this guy, which I'm gonna make into a sticker design. Um, my, his colors really aren't showing up very well, but we've got like a rat skull in the middle and some crystals and some mushrooms and a little like terrarium dealy. Um, my color of the month project is uh, what I've been working on lately. And so my patrons, uh, vote on a color out of four options um, for me to focus on in the month. And this month's color is violet. So um, this is the work in progress. And then I finished this one the other day, um, which took forever. Like I'm so pleased with how it looks, but also I never want to do this again, <laughs> which I'll probably take that back and do another one at some point. Um, this one and then did I put it in here yes I did good job past Katie you put it someplace that made sense and then uh, this which is um, individual pieces of watercolor paper stitched together you can really see the stitching on the back um, to make a little quilt block um, and I did another one. The last month's color for October was Burnt Umber. So we did this one. Oh yeah, I guess you weren't here when I showed it last time. I did do it a little bit differently. So um, I can just flip this up. You can kind of tell on the stitching between the two, the stitching on the purple one is a lot more even. That's because I used a book binding guide to punch the holes. So the holes were actually at an even space because I had a guide and it was so much easier to punch the holes. Um, for the the brown one, I used a T-pin to punch the holes through uh, without any guide or anything. And it took me like three days. Punching the holes on this one took me like 45 minutes. Me too. So my plan is to make, um, a quilt square for each of the colors of the month for a year so 12 12 colors and then sew them all together to make a bigger piece um which is like paper a big paper quilt to hang up i guess there's probably better words that i've used to describe that but my brain is just not having it today um i also glued some of these pieces together on the edges just to keep them held together while I was stitching just to make my life a little easier and it helped keep the uh, edges a little bit more even like you can this one the side that came off you can tell is a little bit um, 
out of line, uh, but not as bad as this one is. So keeping those lined up helped. I considered um, doing another piece of paper uh, on the back uh, to kind of like be a joint piece to keep the uh, seams from moving as much. And then I decided that I didn't really like that. It felt too stiff. Um, so I think, I think the glue is a good like in-between solution for that. Um, but it might be when I do all of the quilt blocks together, that will be a better way to do it. We'll, we'll see. Uh, this is kind of like a work in progress kind of a thing. Oh, I could use fabric. That's a good idea, actually. I'm trying to think about what fabric would be best for that. Maybe like a denim. I could probably use an old pair of jeans because that would be like stiff and dense enough without, um, having to be reinforced. So that's, that's to be revisited next month whenever my patrons decide on that color. Um, which I do need to, that's another thing I need to do this week. I need to um, draw the colors for next week. Cause I made little, I don't have them out here right now, but I made little color cards um, that have the, uh, so the, the main color and then like the DMC thread color and stuff like that on it so that I didn't have to think about it too hard. <laughs> that was the right color, right? Yes, okay. And then uh, I'm just feeling kind of tired and out of it today. So I'm filling up my palette and then I'm probably going to end stream because I have used enough paint that I need to actually work on refilling this, which is nice, actually. Let's see. Ochre, you're right there. I think I want to replace this black too once I use that up. So I'll leave that for now. I could use more azo nickel gold in here somewhere. Which is another one that I use like a lot. Opera pink too. And gamboge. There's the gamboge. Uh, Azo. I was looking for Azo. That's what I was doing. There you are. You are hiding. But I, uh, I've been doing work as an art model for like art classes. So I did that yesterday and it takes like a lot more muscles than you would think <laughs> to, to sit in the same place for that walk. So I'm, I'm kind of tired and sore today and feeling pretty out of it. I also messed up my wrist while I was doing it, which is why uh, I've got the wrist brace on today. It's nothing like scary. I just have issues. <laughs> Don't we all? But... Lugia. Does... I don't even know what you would pair that with food wise. What's the title? I've got another hair in here. I started using some new paint brushes and they really just shed hair in all of my paints and it's going to drive me insane. Get out of my paint. Come here, you little bastard. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I did want to stream a little bit because I do enjoy streaming. I like hanging out. And I did need to get some work on that done. So, and I am I am taking it easier than I would otherwise, for sure. Okay, making sure I'm putting things in the right spot. Because I have actually been painting like a lot more, even aside from just doing streaming, which was like a lot of pieces all right in a row. I have been actually going through my paints a fair amount. I do need to re-wet this guy so that maybe he stays in there though. New gambos. I also need sap green. I think I'm going to use up the rest of the sap green that's in there and then replace it with the Daniel Smith because the one that's in there right now is Reeves and I don't like it as much as the Daniel Smith colors. So. Yeah, I appreciate the reminder, though. You guys are all so nicies to me. 
Because I do know that I have a community that very much would rather I take care of myself, which I'm like that as a viewer too, so it's all good. Napoleon for Lugia. That's a interesting combo. I don't know what chicken marengo is either. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. I'm probably embarrassing myself so bad right now. <laughs> Um, I think those are the only ones I really need to refill right now. Especially since I want to replace you, and you, and you. <laughs> Which means that we'll have to do a new, a new palette map at some point. I really should have scanned this when it was just lines, I'm realizing. I do want to get a new black. I don't like the Daniel Smith black. The one that I have. I did order, I think I mentioned this already. Um, I did, as a Christmas gift to myself, get a full dot color card of all of the Daniel Smith watercolors. So they make um, like a card set that has just a single dot of each watercolor on it so that you can like test the colors yourself and see what you think of them. Um, and so I got a dot set of that full range, like all of the colors that they make so that we can poke at them and I'll see which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't. Oh, thank you, scientists. I do try to like, I'm pretty open about all the stuff that I use. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I am a relatively open book. Food myth. Whip together to feed Napoleon Sherman. Okay. Yeah, generally speaking, any fancy uh, story about a food is probably inaccurate. Kind of like how there are like four different bars that claim to be the originator of buffalo wings. Because you, you gotta have a selling point. I do... Mm, I'm trying to decide about what I want to do and it's not even an issue right now. <laughs> I'm thinking about what other colors I want on this. What I really need is like a million wells so that I can put every single color that I own on the palette at once. Because if it's not on my palette, I forget it exists. Because I do also have a warm gray now in addition to the Payne's cool gray. Um, maybe I want to replace that with black and have black as an extra blob on the mixing area because I have been tending to use those grays more. I can appreciate a simple preparation of meals for sure. And I did, I guess I brought this up once. I'll bring it up again. Um, I did just get this travel palette, which I'm really liking. I've been using it um, instead of dragging my full palette back to the other room when I'm working on stuff. Um, for a lot of the time and this came as a two set so I have another one of these um, so I was wondering if people would be interested in me filling the other one with like the colors that I tend to use and doing a giveaway for it um, I don't know how many other people like really paint here or want to paint but I thought that might be like a cool little thing to do at some point um, or I could just fill it with what I have and have two. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, it was actually two in the package that I ordered. I thought it was, it said two piece. And I thought that meant um, the, the palette and the clip. Um, I do have a little color map of what I put in here too. Oh, I also have travel brushes I could have used today that I haven't tested out yet. I will need to mess with that at some point. I don't know where I put them, though. Because I was moving stuff around. It's been an exciting week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm going to wander off and go lay down and maybe take some more medication. <laughs> Because I can definitely feel my pain killers wearing off. 
and it's less the painkiller more that it's an anti-inflammatory which keeps my wrist my wrist under control i might mess with this camera a little bit before we end so if you get motion sick easily please look away i don't want to make you sick but i am going to move this arm around a little bit so that we can make it look a little less funky hopefully because it is definitely at an angle i'm going to start moving in five four three two one last chance to look away here we go because i did do that and you guys are going to end up seeing like more of this area than normal i think so let's because i did have to move stuff around a bit because and once i get the setup i'm gonna have to take it down again anyway but i can at least take a photo of like what angle it's at is that better i feel like that's better yeah, I think that's less tilty, yeah? So I think that piece got moved when I was moving stuff around. Because it definitely, like, it's supposed to stay put, but it doesn't really stay put. So. I do think that's better. Yeah. Okay. So now I know what that issue was. That's probably a little bit better. Um... Focus wise, I still I still don't know. This camera is a nightmare for me. Their software that they have that you have to use to change the uh, settings at all is like real bad. Um, I do have an actual DSLR that I could probably use as a webcam um, once I get a better setup going. But for now, that's just not a possibility. <laughs> um, I need to get like an actual computer instead of using a laptop for this. Um, do I have anything else to say? I don't know that I do. So this will be the same setup for Friday and then I'll have to take it down because we're having people over on Saturday. But we've got that set for next time and I'll try not to worry about it. <laughs> uh, let's put you away. And I've got my light set up, so that won't be as bad next time either. I'm gonna need to drag this back with me. Let's put you in here, friend. And yeah. Okay, so we did get some stuff done and we chatted a bit, which is nice. And I can go and do other things. Oh, I should wet this while I'm thinking about it. Oh, do I want to wet it with that water is the next question. Maybe not. Where's... Sorry, I'm not finishing my sentences. That's probably not very helpful. I'm looking for my white paint and I'll just put a little bit of uh, wet paint on the bottom of that to try and stick it back into the, the well. If I can find it. That's another one I need to buy more of, actually, I think. Although titanium white is just very stiff, stiff paint. There you are. Oh. If I touch that cord at all, that light flickers. That's not helpful to me. This is another one I probably need to buy some more of at some point. Although, I've been using more white gouache than I have white watercolor, really. Okay, you go in there and stay put this time, please. Alright. What am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I always feel like I'm forgetting something. It's just the curse of bad brain. If I have my way, we won't be working on this next stream. I'm not sure what we'll be working on, if I'm honest. Because I'm going to be kind of in between projects after I finish this. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We can also just do some doodles or something. Or I could do another iPad stream and we can work on getting stickers ready together. We'll see. It is like... This Friday is a holiday weekend for USians. Um, 
So it might be kind of a weird day as well. Because um, I'm pretty sure at least one of my other streamers is going to be home and actually trying to stream. So it might end up also being a short stream. Um, so that I can go hang out there. So we'll see. I'll do something. We'll figure it out when we get there. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me... I think Lib is live and doing something... Sorry, I'm getting texted other things. So let me try and focus for like half a second. Um, I believe Lib is live, so we will go bother Lib because um, that's going to be where I end up hanging out anyway. Um, so let me get that up and see if it makes my laptop explode. So I was opening it on my phone and then I saw the other thing and that's why I got distracted. It's just one of those days. I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> um, but let me switch on over to the end screen and, and say a little goodbye. So thank you everybody for showing up. Sorry, I'm kind of like off kilter lately. Um, so streams have been shorter and stuff, but I really appreciate people coming and hanging out. Um, Yeah, so take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves. If you can't do that for yourself, please do it for me because I think that you're cool and you deserve nice things. And that includes from yourself. And I will go do the same for me. And it would help if I actually started the raid instead of getting super distracted by everything that's happening around me right now. <laughs> um, there we go. And I will... See you all next time. I just, it's just, I got bad brain, man. Bad brain. <laughs> I'll see y'all around, I'm sure. Have a good one. Uh, bye.